Hello everyone, I'm Rachel, a Radical Soul Untangled. So, um, today I was going to get my first, um, the Norman deck. I chose this one under the roses. And, uh, just getting the feel. It's a totally new system. Uh, but I learned, uh, saw a video on YouTube on how to combine tarot and the Norman by doing them separately and so I really want to learn uh, these cards in order to augment my readings um, to give it more of a, a 3D aspect to my readings um, because I wish I knew the name of that video off the top of my head I'll try to put that link in the description um, but what she said is like you know Lenormand is very good at giving you 3D information and not her words, but, and then tarot is good at like four and five D, like your thoughts, your feelings, your, your soul motivations, all that. It's more intuitive. This is more, um, oh, what's the word? Like logistical. <laughs> um, but anyways, I'm not reviewing this deck right now. Um, I do, I have flipped through it. It's pretty neat. But what I really wanted to do was next to this deck at the store I was going, uh, which is, uh, the Witch Lab in Columbus, Ohio. And I am doing an unboxing of this Universal Folk Oracle. I've never seen it before, never heard of it, but, uh, the art really compelled me. And what I like about Witch Lab is that they tend to, um, keep the cards they, they try to have um, almost for every deck they have available like a sex some of the sample deck out and you can just flip through it you can feel the cards you can uh you know get a feel for the artwork and I, I just really liked it really spoke to me and uh so yeah and it's a pretty new deck it only came out in 2020 um so yeah I haven't opened it up yet I just took off the wrapping so let's get to it oh wow okay so that looks like that's the book all right so we got a good sized little booklet there oh that's interesting yeah i really like the art a lot of course um all right so that's the introduction it looks like it's all like female characters in this usually like surrounded by animals and the outside but um okay I like that it doesn't go into too too much you know it looks like they roughly get about a page there's a little full color pictures that's nice um i wonder if they give any like suggested spreads or if this is all about the cards looks like it might just be all about the cards okay and then it's just like some basic spreads okay so it does give some basic spreads but it looks like it goes into more about the cards that's nice and like i said i like that cover art i like that green i like that green tone i like the color palette even though it's very like muted and subdued all right so these guys so yeah you can tell i have not had a chance to look through this at all except for the sample deck at the store which pretty much sealed the deal for me and it was like a good price it's like not even 20, it was like $23, 22 or $23. Um, all right, so we've got confidence. So I like this one. It has like a single keyword and then some other suggested, you know, complimentary words. Um, but yeah, just do a quick flip through of the imagery. <laughs> like it's, it's like they're um, like a some sort of like goat or gazelle and rabbit hybrid. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And oh yeah, let's see the back of the card. Oh yeah, the back of the card is nice. It's like what? Small woodpecker and nuthatch? Is that what a nuthatch is? I'm not great with birds, especially the smaller birds. <laughs> um, so we've got confidence. We've got adventure. Looks like they're waiting to go on an adventure. They're getting ready to start an adventure, it looks like. Ooh. <laughs> Balance. Oh, okay. Just got the scales. Oh, she's got cats with little different charms on their collars. What is that? Um, okay. 
Oh, we got the sun and the moon. So, which, let me go back to the card. We've got this, the sun and the moon. So the masculine and feminine, the, the, um, the yin and the yang. I always want to do it backwards. <laughs> so yeah, and that amazing headdress there. Crystal, it looks like there's a cat in almost every one. I'll have to go through it again, but, um, okay, there's not one on this, but there might be a cat in more of these than not. Crystalline, okay. Kinship. That looks a lot like the adventure one. Like there's a fair amount of rabbits. Oh, and there's a little lizard. Oh, yeah, see, I like this. <laughs> Rabbit and lizard. I'm, I'm, I'm initially a reptile person, but um, I do love my rabbits. So, aw. I feel like it's just for me. <laughs> Sovereign. Um, my daughter will like this. We have a black cat. Um, she'll like that. Ascension transformation. Okay. Renewal. Why is she? Oh, I guess that's supposed to be a pendulum. I thought it was supposed to be a drop spindle. I'm also a spinner. So I was like, oh, cool. She's spinning. Like maybe from the goat's fiber. <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. Protection. Okay, so I'm guessing those are more pendulums. More spindles. Oh, there's like thistles around her, you know, so. I don't know like the official symbolism behind thistles, but they're they're spiky, you know, they're prickly. So I imagine that's a good boundaries, plant to represent boundaries. Healing. All right, kind of has a... Temperance Aquarius energy there. Quickening. All right, well, some serious Aries energy here. Uh, kind of springtimey. I think there's like little stone hinges every now and then. There's usually some sort of building structure. Yeah, see, there's another hinge. Okay, quickening. It's kind of where I feel like I'm at right now, nowadays. <laughs> Gratitude. Okay, where's your animal friends? I don't see any. What's that? What is that? I'm not sure. I'm not like an evil eye, but I'm not sure what that would be called. I've seen that little structure before, but I'm not sure what it is. Oh, <laughs> uniqueness. Okay, yeah, no, this what has like kind of like cancer energy. I mean, good from the claws or Scorpio. Maybe it's Scorpio. Hmm be interesting to read through the booklet and see if it suggests like zodiac signs for some of these hidden that sounds like scorpio <laughs> oh she's real pretty oh she's got a rabbit necklace she looks like a, a gelfling right from the dark crystal <laughs> yeah like bunny that kind of did it from threshold okay this is also what kind of got me is that the cover card no it's not the card this was just the first card that was out in the um demo deck at the store and i was like it's like oh that's nice oh she's got a bunny and she's uh, and there's some towers that's not towers that's ufos <laughs> are those ufos beaming people is she running away from them I mean, all kinds of stuff <laughs> uh harvest okay so obviously that would be a virgo card Feel like gifted oh I love his big ears gifted there's the story of my childhood <laughs> uh let's see harmony I like that if only we could get the two cats in my house living in harmony that would be nice empowerment okay there's Leo that's a Leo card maybe that is Libra, or maybe the balance card is Libra, but anyways, okay, so this is clearly Leo, empowerment, expansion, together, prosper, divine, okay, beginnings, oh, I like the snake, I like <laughs> these kind of like, um, I don't know if those are supposed to be like, you know, braids or woven structures in her hair, but I like that they kind of recapitulate the snake's face there, that's pretty cool. That kind of reminds me of an Ethiopian cross. I know it isn't, but that's what it reminds me of. 
Echoes, ancient culture, roots, customs. An ocelot. Sounds like a wild cat, not so much a domestic cat. Meditation. I like the little uh, llamas in the background. And the, what are those like pagodas with the moon? I like these are all like in the dark. I think just about all of them. They're either like have a dark background or just not a lot of emphasis on light, which I like it. I don't like things that are like dark for the sake of being dark. But I like this kind of darkness. <laughs> I mean, like it's like 1 a.m. right now while I'm filming this. I am a, I tend to be a creature of the night. I will sleep all day on a sunny day if I could some days and then just I'll stay up until four <laughs> and it's like part of me seems just seems to prefer that so mystery all right oh it's got like a Loch Ness monster on there it's <laughs> clever duality okay the little birds self-awareness observe and release celestial okay another owl foxes are pretty common in these expansion ritual dance feast and fire Oh, it just feels like Pisces energy, temple, inner being, visualization, sacred space, just from the imagery of the fish. I don't know. Feels like Pisces. <laughs> Let's see, messages. Oh, I feel like those are like the two crows, Odin's two crows there. Synchronicity, memory, mind healing, knowing. Okay, that's the cover one. Oh, she's got like her own, like a. Uh, Divining cards, oh, palmistry, uh, planchette, all kinds of neat stuff. Some pendulums in the background. Yeah, super cool. <laughs> Remembrance. Direction. True calling. Okay, that seems like Sagittarius to me right there. Uh, compassion, nurture, giving, love, life. Wow, what is with the moon there? Was that maybe that's supposed to be a planet? Maybe that's supposed to be like Jupiter um, in the background or something. Hmm. Create. Okay. Ascension. Joy. See, even though this card's kind of bright, you can tell the sky is actually dark. That's not necessarily the sun. That could just be a very yellow moon, you know, kind of low in the sky, big. But there's, I don't think there's any light. Like any sun. None of these are daytime, I think. Authenticity. I like that. Oh, and it's like a sphinx cat. It's one of my favorite cats. I like, I love them. I don't know. I never had one. But I find them so appealing. <laughs> Peaceful. Oh, I also like yaks because they have nice fiber. <laughs> Again, nighttime sky. A lot, usually a lot of mountains or hills in the backgrounds of the, most of these. Enchantment. Childlike wonder. Fay gateways. All right, we got a peacock and an owl again. Frequency. Flow, sound, vibration, energy, healing. All right, I like the angel. I like that her wings don't aren't don't look feathery; they look fuzzy. They look fluffy. <laughs> so this is this uh, swan harp, huh? Uncover. Dowsing pendulum answers integrity. Okay. Maybe if you're trying to figure out what will work for you, divining methods for something. There's the 
gives you that suggestion. Okay, manifest. So it gives you like actions too in some of these cards. Journal. I don't know why I'm always so resistant to journaling. I'll do it like a little bit, but I never do it consistently. <laughs> Solitude. Yeah, I could go for more of that these days. <laughs> Curiosity with a cap, <laughs> of course, and an owl. Interesting that the moon is kind of like a pink color there. Warrior, okay, like that. Kind of Lord of the Rings energy there. <laughs> yeah, I am no man. And loyalty, well, of course, we have a dog. And we have like a rainbow night. Yeah, I think like all of these cards, this one's the brightest looking, but I just think the cards just overall tinged kind of brown. Yeah, all of these have like a night sky or dark sky. I wouldn't even want to say night sky, just a dark sky. Because, you know, you wouldn't see clouds this way in a night sky. Oh, there's another one, rainbow, too. So, a couple rainbows at night. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. I really do like the feel of these cards. And like I said, and, uh, I like the, the cards. Um, kind of like a semi-gloss. Um, they're not very thick. Uh, you know what? I'll do like a little test shuffle. Because I know some people really like to know that. Okay, I like the size. Oh, I love how they shuffle. Um, this is always tricky for me doing the camera because I have basically like, it's like I'm hugging my phone and trying to use my hands at the same time. Let me get these back in there. Um, yeah, I like the side shuffle. And they riffle shuffle really well. I really like that. Yeah, they don't fight you at all for the riffle shuffle, which is my favorite. <laughs> and I really prefer when my cards don't try to fight me. I, th I feel like people think thicker cardstock is better. These are by no means flimsy. Um, but yes, people just seem to think, oh, if it's a thicker cardstock, it's it's a better quality card. And it's like, oh, I don't like it. Because then it's hard to, when you do these side shuffle, they can bang up against each other too much. And then get peeling and everything um I just don't feel like they would do that um and again not very thick a nice nice degree of bend to them but I don't feel like they would like hold I've ruffle shuffled them a couple times and I haven't had to do like a, a corrective bending <laughs> yet for these so there's one more go yeah, they bridge really nice. They slide really well. There's not, there's not too much grip. There's just the right amount of friction. Yeah, well, I like. I really like the card stock. Very happy with the card stock, and uh, very love the art. Just love it. Um, love the blend of nature, uh, the costuming on the the girls or the women um they all seem very young <laughs> um even the ones that you know you're pretty sure are supposed to be adults still seem like you know childlike there's a very much of a childlike quality um yeah I feel like they got away from me but yeah I haven't had to do like a sometimes after a couple riffle shuffles with some decks you have to like I'll correctively bend them so that they kind of are flatter again. Um, but these are really great cards. I am really looking forward to working with this deck more. Um, I'll read the back real quick because it says Universal Oracle. Young women attired in rich colors and patterns reflect the complexity of our inner selves and various stages of growth and create a culturally non specific universal folk style. Yeah, I think she really accomplished that well. Oh, for each card, a healing crystal is also identified to help you with your intuitive. Okay. Oh, that's really cool. 
All right, well, so that's it for this uh, Universal Folk Oracle. Uh, like I said, I haven't worked with it yet, but I, I sense good things working with it. And um, well priced, like the card stock. It's a lovely deck. I recommend you try it. So <laughs> anyway, my name is Rachel, a radical soul entangled. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.